funny thing happened to Omar on his way to freedom. Hey, you one of the refugees? Yes. Fate took a detour. Now he's stuck in limbo. What would you do if they let you stay? I would like to wear suit and work in office. Ben, it's so good to meet you today. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good. How are you? I'm doing well. I saw Limbo uh, over the weekend, and man, I really enjoyed it. And by the way, congratulations on all the BAFTA nominations and all the awards y'all have won so far. Uh, very much well-deserved, so congratulations, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know you like to cover like really big topics, especially ones that are like politically driven and charged. Do you find that telling these stories like in a comedic way kind of helps like break the ice, break the tension, and maybe helps the audience focus and kind of, I guess, feel the story a little bit more? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the comedy is just such a, a, a kind of useful approach to accessing these kinds of topics. And I kind of, um, you know, I think that this film, there, there's so much material on, on the kind of broad refugee crisis, you know, with, with documentaries and media coverage and other films, you know, with this film, I really felt like it was important to do something, to be able to do something different that perhaps these other things weren't doing. And, you know, using, you know, comedy was a, a really good way to do that. Like you, I have a, a degree in Middle Eastern politics, although, oh, it's cool. a, although it's a minor. So I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, what was it like spending time in Syria? I know you were there right before the war took off. Uh, what was that time like? How did it inspire you for this film? And then how have things changed maybe with people that you know that have been there since? Yeah, I mean, it was it was in, incredible, my time there. And it was kind of part of my you know formative years. So I have just the most incredible memories um, of my time in, in Syria uh, and in Damascus. And, you know, I, I also, you know, I, I, I tried to kind of integrate as well as much as I could. Um, there so I kind of you know I joined uh, the, the rugby team um, the Damascus Zenobians and we went on tour to Lebanon and you know we were playing against the UN team there and like you know and I got involved in theater in Damascus as well and just it was the most incredible uh, place with and, and what was you know really sort of stood out to me at the time as well was the people the people were so peaceful um, and they were just so generous the generosity that that, that I, you know, I was on the end of was just um, kind of never ending during my time there. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, very, very, very special memories.